screwed up the way I did relationships. I know if you've ever gone through that, if you're a girl here and you've been sort of mistreated at a young age, it screws us up. And then we think all we are to one another is just scattered booty, really. And you're just, I was just down to get down. I, I didn't know that there was supposed to be something called relationship to that. I just used to use people for sex. And it screwed me up real bad. I was like, not a good dude. And I realized that some of that had to do with what happened to me when I was little. And it was definitely a part of what contributed to my first marriage falling apart. And so what I realized was that sick individual that did that to me when I was like four, she didn't just steal from me. She stole from me and she stole from my first wife. And, and in turn, she didn't just steal from me and, and Shannon. She stole from me and Shannon and my daughter. And my daughter's life is broken now. And a part of that has to do with, with my brokenness. And so for the longest time, I was like, that sick piece of trash is in debt to me, up to her eyes, and she will never get free. And I've never felt like, you just need justice so bad. When I first came across the story of Jesus, I realized that I'm such a piece of, I mean, like, not a good dude at all. Christianized that a little bit. I am I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. And I realized that if God was willing to look at the debt I owe him and cancel it, then I needed to look at that person and say, that's a real debt. You owe me. She owes me. She, man, screw me. She owes my kid. Like, you owe me. You sick. Like, she owes me. And I'm like, you have a debt that you will never, you'll never pay it back. But one day I had to decide, that's a real debt. And you know what? Now you don't owe me anymore. Now you owe God. And the minute that happened, I was free. Yeah. That's the power of forgiveness. nothing to do with that. That was sick, and it was evil, and it was wrong, and it's not in God's heart to abuse his kids. He doesn't do that. Amen. Okay, so I'm just asking you if, you, if you're here tonight, and you've got somebody that's just pissed you off, or you're carrying weight on the inside of you, I just want you to make a fist with, like, your right hand real quick, and I want you to put it up above your head. And what we're going to do is I'm going to count to three, and when I say three, I really want you to see it like a debt. Like, they owe you, like, a million dollars, and their account's overdrawn. They don't have it. And what I want you to do is when I say three, I want you to let it go. Okay, just as an act. I want you guys to participate because sometimes we need a little push. It's not about feeling it. It's about doing it. You guys ready to forgive somebody? All right, I hope so because it'll feel better for you. It's like the most selfish thing you can do. I promise. The stupidest thing you can do is just hang on to it. Just make you sick. All right, ready? One, two, three. Three. Thank you, God, just for forgiveness, hitting people during this song. The song is called Eyes Wide Open. Thank you very much.